I got the tattoo about 10 years ago in my 20s, and uh, it was actually uh, the second tattoo to cover up um, a fraternity tattoo I got when I was 18. You know, each day while I was getting ready, you know, I would look at it and uh, I just started to get tired of it. It's really interesting when you look at it, a process that was meant to be so permanent, yet we're trying to find a way to get rid of it. Up to this point, a lot of the lasers that have been out there have caused scarring or have had difficulty removing certain colors of the, the tattoos that are there. Now we're able to get to full spectrum color and also do this relatively safely with very low risk of scarring. You know, I felt so comfortable knowing that you know, I was going to be under the care of uh, an actual doctor. The commercials of, of them, uh, you know, a tattoo artist removing a tattoo, you know, making it look so uh, simple, uh, pain-free, it's, it's not that way at all. As far as the tattoo coming off, I think there's just as much responsibility as the tattoo going on. In other words, there was a lot of thought that went into it, or at least there should be. And there should be a lot of thought into removing one as well. We're talking about a series of treatments, and we're having to do a series of treatments in order to make it a safe process. So we're talking anywhere from six to ten treatments on average that can be separated usually by about six weeks. Essentially what the laser does is it goes in, we use a, a series of different wavelengths to go in there and essentially uh, vibrate the molecules of the ink that are in there and by doing so breaking them up. Then over a period of six weeks after the treatment, your lymphatic system absorbs these molecules and you start to see resolution and fading of the tattoo. But I couldn't imagine going to another place and going through the actual procedure without everything that they do in addition to the numbing you know, that, uh, that goes on before and then they, you know, prepping the site and then they actually invest it into an air cooler. Now that's one area where I'm very unique. I have the ability, since we're a physician-based uh, clinic and I have an on-site pharmacy and everything else, we have the ability to do forms of anesthesia that a lot of other places may not be able to. You know, I wish that it were uh, already gone, but knowing that I've got um, several more you know, procedures to go, it has made a difference in my life.